It's time for the first final of 2018. The Quicksilver Pro ready to go with two Australians that want to take out the season opener for the first time in their career. Ace Bucking representing Avoca Beach in New South Wales, taking on Julian Wilson from the Sunshine Coast, representing Coolum Beach and wanting to fight for that Jeep yellow jersey to be world number one. It's just going to make the top guys really crank it up. Quick start for Ace, just to get up and riding down the line, resetting his positions. He's done that a lot throughout the day today, especially eliminating Owen right early this morning. He would just check out a wave, kick out, set himself up on a better part of the bank. Here's some back-to-back -back finals in the Roxy Pro. Keely Andrew getting excited, now Ooh. catching up to Bucket. on the next one. Big section, he pulls in. It's wide open. Wilson sees the spit and comes out to the bright sunshine here on the Gold Coast. Wow, Julian Wilson backdooring an incredible wave right in front of Ace Bucken. Ace Bucken went over the handlebars on the wave before. Julian, what a wave to start the final, Joe. Unbelievable. Strider, I can hear you loud and clear. How are you feeling? You know, Julian Wilson coming in here. Here he goes again, Joe. Wilson backing up the 993, back in the pit. Quick barrel as he spit out. Front side wrap, even though that was a much smaller barrel, he's feeling the rhythm. He knows just a quick completion there. Puts Ace Buck in, needing two new waves. Comboed early in this final. But starting off with a lot of positivity out of the gates. His best start by far on the championship tour. Wilson back in the pit, off the ski. Makes it. Miss hit on the finish. But every time he takes off, he's making the barrel pots. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I know his shoulder's probably killing him, but at this point in time, the adrenaline's pumping off that 9.93. I guarantee you, he's feeling no pain. Get anything you can do to avoid those single-use plastics. Ace is on board and checking out this wave coming through with priority. Late takeoff. Air under the board stomps it. Unable to pull in on the takeoff. It's going to just shove him down the line. Now slamming on the brakes. See the spit and oh, Ace comes there out. Go. There you go. Ace Buck is so cool and calm. Getting shoved down the line. He knew there were still some points on the end section. Slammed on the brakes backhand. Challenging position to do that as a goofy foot. What a tricky wave as well. I mean, nothing did not cooperate from the get-go. You could tell he was looking to get in right there, but obviously it was crumbling. So biding his time, waiting for it, waiting for it. Now he slows down, hits the brakes, grabs the rail, pulls in nice and deep. And as you said, that thing unloaded and just snuck out the bottom of the wave before that thing shut down. So perfect timing, perfect positioning right there for Ace Buck and needing anything over a 5.10 will get himself out of that combination situation. I absolutely love this new system. Uh, it just puts so much more emphasis on that uh, round number four. Have a look at this wave from Julian driving deep in the barrel. Perfect positioning. You can see staying high, trying to trim high. That thing starts to get a little almondy and the board comes flying out of the barrel not a whole lot of room underneath late takeoff perfect drop oh. Wilson into a closeout oh my goodness that was a lot of water on the head of the former pipe master I mean he's not holding back Joe Ace's turn little setup work pulls in disappears and comes out sets up the backside hack down the line clean motion there for Ace and he's out of there remember he was trying to break down a 9.21 for the lead Ace and Jeremy had a classic matchup earlier. They had a lot of history together at this event. This is Ace's last. Well, a beautiful little check turn there, mid-face, grabs the rail, comes out, but this is what Ace does so well. That turn right there, he gets that beautiful snap and a little bit of drift, puts a bit more into it, and a nice score, so he's chipping away at that score. It was a nine-plus ride required, and now that uh, requirement is slowly coming down, which makes things look a lot easier for Ace Buckinger. He's surfing himself into rhythm, and that's what's happening right now. 5.9, 6.5, I mean, what's going to follow? Locking in now. Little airdrop for Wilson. Now packing it, slamming on the brakes. Really deep. Comes out without a problem. 
an absolute tube shootout. And Wilson has given the fans everything that they want in this final. 9-9-3, got a 5-1-7, which was his backup. Even got a 4-1-7, still making barrels. Then just decided to pull into a beast. Still in form and rhythm. We'll see if that improves his total out front. 9.93, yeah, great. That's a good score, but at the moment his backup's only a 5-1-7. So Ace now within striking distance. So Julian needs to crank it up. Comes around the section, hits the brakes, slows himself down and comes out nice and clean. And then there, that's going to be the difference, I think. Ace has been coming out of his barrels and doing those big backside hooks, so Julian needs to kind of answer that. He needs to show the judges that, hey, I've got that in my game as well. Look at this barrel for Julian, standing nice and tall. Comes out nice and clean. And that big swooping maneuver stays nice and low on his board, doesn't he? That low center of gravity keeps those fins engaged, keeps that rail in the water and makes those turns look really dynamic. Then we had the Wilco era, the emotional comeback to victory for Owen Wright. And now this, pumping Kira for a final. Julian Wilson once again beating multiple sections. And that thing was just impossible to make. Let's see what happened to Julian's first. Oh, watch this wave. I mean, these, these are the ones you wanted, Kira. Those big, thick, deep, chunky ones. Wow. Absolute racetrack. Down the line is Ace Bucket making it. Bucket looking to come back and somehow oh. sneak the exit. He pulls it off. Once again, Ace finds a space to get the completion. When that thing was just bending away, it almost looked impossible. And then Ace takes off, slides into it. A little bit of a pop, grabs the rail. Perfect positioning for Ace Bucken. Nice clean barrel for him. And he comes out the end, but then hits the brakes again, pulls into section number two, right down the bottom, and somehow sneaks out of the end of that one. The crowd go wild. <laughs> For Ace Bucken, 7.43 or better gets him back into the heat. 8.6 for the last of Ace Bucken out of the combination. Now needs an 8.84. Wilson up, feeling the pressure. Stalling, so casual in the pit. Wilson beating multiple sections. Can he pull off a miracle? And Wilson ends up going down. Oh. Every fan on the rocks there holding their breath because he's pulled a couple of dream runs. Let's have another look to see how close he got here, Potts. Oh my gosh. I mean, there we go, Julian inside the barrel. Now he starts to drive, needs to pump. I mean, it's difficult when it's quite a tight barrel like that. Staying high and then the white water just engulfing him. It was a, a very difficult tube, as you can see, starting to bend a little bit. So it wasn't wide open. For Wilson, he's been in 10 previous finals around the world. Watch an ace now. Look for the answer. Spits behind him, slows down, and it's shoving him for the completion. I think Ace and Julian are loving their job today. <laughs> Can you believe they're getting paid to do this? <laughs> $100,000 on the line, 10,000 points on the leaderboard. Wow, look at that. That was unbelievable for Ace. You know, I talked about earlier about how you're not really you don't really have an advantage standing with your left foot forward here at, at Kira. It, it all comes down to the individual. I mean, these guys are so good no matter which way you go. Ace is getting nice and low on his board, coming out after the spit, after the fact. So is that going to better his 6.5? He needs an 8.84. I don't think it's as good as his 8.6, so I think he's still going to need another wave. They absolutely charged. Big takeoff oh. and going down hard is Wilson. And this freight train of a racetrack will just go all the way down the sandbar here at Kira. Sets approaching the lineup, and I think it's going to be too late as the clock winds down, Joe. He now realizes he is the new world number one. Julian Wilson is your 2018 Quicksilver Pro Champion and your new number one on the Jeep leaderboard. Wilson wears yellow heading into Bells Beach and enters the title race officially. Beware of the wounded. He's got a plenty of time to heal up and get ready to go. But what an emotional Aww. moment for Julian. How sweet it is to return to a final with unfinished business and finally close it out.